Welcome back to Sketch Up for Schools and the Mike's Malt Shop. We'll continue on with finishing this up. The next thing we're going to be doing is adding materials to what we're doing. So let's edit our awnings first, double click, and it'll go into the edit mode for the component. And we're gonna add some colors, click on the material. You can pick the colors you want. I'm gonna go red and maybe this like white bonish color, something like that on the edges. And because I don't think I got that side, let's use this, use the dropper to make sure we grab the right color and get on the edge there as well. Let's color our building next, click off. So we go out of the edit mode. Let's pick this um bright blue is what i'm going to go with um if you really want to add some other kind of siding or brick cladding you can do that here as well it might look a little tacky but uh you go ahead and uh, pick what you want i'm just going to go with this color and we're going to go all the way around our building get the back and let's orbit around to the side so that we get all the sides of our building. Good, time to add a drive-through window, another material we're going to add. Oh, good thing I orbited it around. I'm sure you didn't have that issue. All right. We're going to add a, let's get rid of the materials box. We're going to add a component. Now, let's go and we're going to type in SketchUp for schools, drive through window. And let's see what comes up. Nothing comes up. Oh, that's why. search. Here's our window. It will download for us. And let's lock it right in there. And just double check and make sure it looks good, which it does right exactly where we want it. Let's orbit to the top of our roof. And we're going to add some more style here, I suppose. And what we're going to do is do a, like a pediment on the top. All right, so let's grab a rectangle. Pediment is going to be that thing that kind of towers up above on top. So we're going to go on the top edge here. And we're going to go this way, should be 30 feet. And we're going to go 30 by 2. And let's make sure we're in the right, like we're in that blue. If you're not in the blue, press the up arrow on your keyboard and your rectangle will turn blue. And I'll just type in 30 comma two feet return. And we'll get that line up there on top. And now we'll go ahead and we'll push pull this up uh, six feet. Now it's also gone and given me trouble on the top here. So at this point, let's draw a line across the top from this edge to this edge. And we'll push pull this down three feet so that we've got a place for us on top here. All right. We push pulled this up six feet also, push pulled that down three feet. So we've got a good place up on top. Now let's move our pediment out to the edge of our building. Pull it out and we'll lock it on that edge. 
And we're going to do that on this other side as well. Push pull. Make sure you snap to that edge. And let's push pull it out to the front also. Okay, grab your eraser. Get rid of this front line. Maybe that side line. I got an extra line going there. What is that? Oh, sorry. Spec on my monitor. And we'll rotate around. And we'll catch those side lines as well. Delete, delete. Maybe that's not a spec on my monitor. All right, after we erase, we're going to edit, or sorry, not edit, but add a sign here. So let's go malt shop sign. And we will download the malt shop sign by SketchUp. And let's attach it to the front of our building. Get it where we want. And we'll get it roughly right. If it's not quite right, we can move it later, which we may want to do anyways. You can see mine's not centered, but we're going to move it in place here in a second. Let's draw a line in the midpoint. There it is. There it is. And let's now draw a couple more lines. We're going to move this over till it finds the... Oh, Let's go over here and sorry, grab the rectangle tool. That's what I want until it locks here and says on the golden edge here as well. On the gold, on the, okay. On the edge golden section, sorry, edge golden section. Now we're going to pull this up. So grab that center and you are, let's just move this out of the way. Let's grab that line. Let's select it. Grab your move, pull it up. And we're going to make sure we're going straight up. It's on the blue axis. Push the arrow up on your keyboard to make sure and let's press four feet. So it locks on that Z, Z axis. Now I can grab my sign again and let's just get that up on there so that it's looking good for us. Let's grab one of these letters, there we go. And it says on face. Move that over so it's centered. All right. Next thing we're going to do, we may have to modify this again, but let's orbit around so we can see the front and we're going to put a bit of a border on front there. So come to where the push pull is. Let's pick the offset. We're going to go here to that edge and let's offset in 10 inches. And once we've offset 10 inches, let's push pull the outside and pull it out an additional six inches to give us some depth. All right, so that's looking a little better on our malt shop. All right. Next, we're going to draw some trim details. And we're going to go along the bottom here of the trim and we're going to add some little uh, concrete posts, I suppose. Come to the rectangle, pick the circle. Make sure we're locked here in the blue axis. If it goes green on you, press the up arrow on your keyboard, click on that endpoint. We're going to type in one foot radius 
And we're going to go around to all these spots. Again, up one foot radius. Oops. Press up on your, oh, not happy with me. I clicked on the wrong spot, people. Orbit around. There we go. One foot. All right, and when you go around, you're going to hit all these little corners and hit the push pull button. And we're going to pull it up so it is even with the top here. Okay. Even with the top. You should be able to come in and we'll see what we can do about getting rid of the extra little lines in there. Push pull up here as well. And you can do that and go all the way around and get rid of those top lines. Okay. We'll let you do that. Go all the way around. I won't do all of them for you, so you don't have to watch me, but you'll just do each of the corners on the bottom all the way around. You can color these in. We'll add some more materials by coloring our windows. Add some glass. That doesn't really matter, but let's pick a good glass to go in these spots. Let's also add some other things. You can add a bench. Bring in a bench. Let's make another one. We'll use the move button, hit our control to copy it. We can get those in place. There's no flowers. Add some flower pots maybe. I don't know, do what you want. That one is a photo. Find something to put on there. There should be a picnic table, maybe. You can add a car. You can add what you want to our malt shop. Remember to hit save and we'll go with one more video after this. Thanks for watching and we'll show you the last steps of the process.